Welcome to this FSPBX tutorial. Today, I'm going to walk you through creating a new virtual receptionist or IVR menu step by step. Let's get started. First, log in to your FSPBX dashboard. Once you're in, locate the virtual receptionist tile on your main screen and click on it. After the page loads, click on the Create button. A pop up window will appear for creating your new virtual receptionist. In the Name field, enter a desired label for your IVR and then hit the Save button. Once saved, additional options will appear that allow you to modify and customize your IVR settings. Let's start by setting up an audio prompt for our virtual receptionist. Click on the plus button to add a new greeting message. You have a couple of options here. You can either upload a pre-recorded message or use our text-to-speech feature. For this tutorial, we'll choose text-to-speech. If you're interested in learning how to set up text-to-speech with the OpenAI API, please check out our other video on our YouTube channel. Enter your text in the message field. Once you're ready, click the Generate button. After the greeting is generated, click on the Play button to listen to it. Welcome to ABC Corporation. If you would like to speak with a sales representative, press 1. For technical support, press 2. For billing inquiries, press 3. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time during this message. To repeat these options, press 9. Thank you for calling ABC Corporation. If you're happy with how it sounds, click Apply to save your greeting. Next, scroll down to the Failback Options section. Here I'll select the option to route the call to the reception voicemail if the caller either enters an invalid option or doesn't select any option after three prompts. Now navigate to the Keys tab. Here you can assign a key to each IVR option. I have three keys to assign to sales, support, and billing respectively. Once you have finished creating your keys, you can click on the Advanced Settings tab. In this section, you can adjust various additional options, such as caller ID prefix, ring back tone, and other announcement settings. I will enable direct dialing on this tab. This allows callers who already know their party's extension to reach them directly. Once you've configured all the settings to your satisfaction, review everything and click the Save button. That's it. You have successfully created and set up a new virtual receptionist using FSPBX. Thank you for watching.